I've been talking all December about how Christmas films, most of them are pretty trashy. This one, <laughs> is the trashiest. And yet, and yet, uh, most of the time, doing these, I do feel kind of like a proper reviewer in some ways. I mean, yeah, some, some ways. But on this one, I throw everything out of the window. I do, because I love romantic comedies, okay? I do. And I love Christmas films. I've been harsh on them this month, but I do love them. And I love British films that are distinctly British in a way as well. So this just had everything. And it had so many actors you love, and it has singing and fun and just joy and everything, you know. It's just the it's it's the perfect combination of things to just trap me in and make me love it. And I only saw it for the first time actually like three or four years ago, but I've watched it at least once a year, every Christmas since, and I have to say it's it's just the best. It's one of my favourite films ever. I think it was the first. I don't want to really say that. I think it was one of the first, certainly. It was the first to do it really, really well, to take a big ensemble cast and do lots of different romantic comedy plots all in one, okay? That was joyful. It did so many of them so well. It had so many great actors. It was so British. I don't know if Americans would get this film in the same way that we would, but it is wonderful. Um, I love it. I just love it. <laughs> it's just so good. It's so iconic. I'm giving this film 95 out of 100. Which is ludicrous. Which is ludicrous. You can mock me for it. I don't care. It's, it's just, it's just so happy. I'm just so happy when I'm watching it. Even the sad parts, I'm so happy. It's so good. Fuck you.